Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. Quincy, we have a new listing coming up this week. It's exciting news. Very exciting. Where are we off to? We are going to Grantsville. Quincy, today we're up flying, looking at Grantsville out here. Beautiful area, it's definitely starting to develop out there. Tell me a little bit about this house. Yes, this is such a great area. It's still a place that you can come and find a beautiful neighborhood and still find affordable housing right now. This house is listed at $339,000. Uh, it's a really great little house. They have such pride and ownership. They have taken such great care of this place. You know, I'll tell you from coming up on the front of this house, the zero landscape, that's appealing to me. When I was a kid, I had to cut the grass all the time. <laughs> None of that out there. Having all the rock is fantastic, easy maintenance. Definitely. And then when you look inside, look at this. He has spared no expense. He's gone through and put in brand new flooring, a great new paint job. Everything looks so beautiful and clean. And look, look at all that natural light. I love that the living room there is attached to the kitchen as well. It's great for entertaining. Everybody feels like they're in the same space. Definitely. And that little added window between the two really makes that feel connected. This is a beautiful house. You can tell, like you said earlier, they've really maintained it well. They've done a lot of nice touches to it. The cabinets are beautiful. They're white, which is updated. It's great. Yeah, definitely. When you come up to the upper level, you have the master bedroom here. It's one of the most beautiful bedrooms I've seen in the house in this area. This is such a great job that they've done here. It's got a nice walk-in closet. It is connected to the upstairs restroom right here that you'd find, um, keeping it separated there. And then you have these two great bedrooms upstairs that are such great sizes for bedrooms. You don't see these that big these off this often. Yeah, absolutely. And at this price point, it's really fine. It's really hard to find a house with this much square footage. I mean, anywhere on the market. Yeah, definitely. We're at just under 1,700 square feet. And we have, you know, we have another bedroom downstairs, which is great. And it also has a nice half bathroom. So you can kind of keep it separated if you do have, you know, a house guest or maybe an older, older uh, child in the family that wants to have their own space downstairs. It's really laid out nicely for everything. As we move out back here, you can see they've got a nice deck and nice big backyard. There's a lot of room here. Yeah, like you mentioned earlier, it is a zero landscape yard, but it's wonderful because if you're the type of person that has toys, an RV, you know, you want to have places to park, this place is for you. Fantastic. Guys, this is going to go quick, perfectly priced and beautiful area. Okay, so if you head on south down to Scipio and you head out west, you're going to run right into Delta, Utah, the heart of Utah, right? It's really the heart of Utah, and this is a recreational heaven. That's right. It's got lots of amenities around there, great places to camp, places to go hiking, and it's even a nice little reservoir out there. Yeah, so you have your, an opportunity to own your own 80 acres of your own private vacant land. That's right. And this is a, a nice little area to get away from the city a little bit and have your own 80 acres. And they have the Geese uh, Festival out there each year, which is a big deal. A lot of people go to visit that. A lot of people do. It's the second largest festival. Yeah. And this uh, land never goes out of style. And to have 80 acres of your own for whatever, I mean, it has multiple uses. Uh, but this would be a great opportunity to go on down there and enjoy a little bit of Delta. Okay, Lise, where are we headed to on this one? To the beautiful city of Leighton, Utah. Okay, so take a look at this, flying right over Leighton. Uh, this is where the Air Force base is. There's always a lot of people uh, coming into this area that, with the military base there. Absolutely, and this is a growing area. It's a hot market right now for, especially a home like this, you've got a beautiful Rambler. Yeah, look at this. Very nice Rambler style home, which never goes out of style. Buyers are always, this is always the most uh, sought after property is a Rambler that has a master on the main and they uh, and people are looking for this nice open floor plan. And look at this, right as we come in, you come on the right, uh, on the main floor. These houses, when they were originally were designed, you can tell this thing can be completely updated because they used to have a wall that kind of separated it, but the new style is to open that space up and you can see they've already done that. So all the work's been done, it's beautiful. I love the floors that they put in, the updated appliances, and they also have the updated locker area, which is great for extra storage space. This 
they have turned into a very well utilized spaced area. Did you see the tiles in the back, the beautiful gray floors, the light that comes in? They've done a really good job. The colors and styles that they put in that kitchen are what's exactly going on right now. If a builder went in to go uh, design a kitchen, those are the same colors and styles, the white cabinets. And, and now we're going down the hall, looking at some of these bedrooms. Looks like got three bedrooms on the main floor. Uh, uh, very nice, good size rooms. These properties, when we get into these, that area is very desirable because there's a lot of military that come into that area. And so it, uh, there's lots of jobs that follow the military. So it's almost like its own little hub. It's an interesting place in Utah because there's a lot of uh, industry and stuff that goes around the military base. So there's always a lot of desirability for uh, houses. And when you get into a house like this, you're gonna be choosing in this price range between a luxury condo or getting into a single family home. And these single family homes are definitely the way to go. You're gonna get a lot more appreciation. You've got land. And this one's got, look at as we're going downstairs, looks like it's got a second kitchen too. It does. It's almost a mother-in-law suite with a bedroom, bathroom, and this kitchen down here. Wonderful. And then you'll notice as well that the backyard is great for entertaining. Yeah, they've got a lot of light down in the basement, a nice little area that they developed out into. It's a little like a, a computer area to work right down there. You have a little seclusion, which is nice. Working from home is the big thing right now, so yeah. that's a great addition. Got to, some nice views of the mountains out in the backyard, and it looks like they've uh, made good use of the space. This is a good one. Single family homes like this are super desirable, and they're really good buys, and they're only expected to appreciate like crazy over the next few years. So this is a good opportunity to get involved in a real nice home. Okay, Mary, where are we headed to on this one? So we're just outside of a little town of Cedar City called Panguitch. Yeah. So I've got 320 acres out there. Great property that's just amazing for all sorts of different types of uses. Yeah, and so it looks like it's got some nice views out there. Nice flat land, which is really nice. And so it'd be great for recreating probably. Uh, there. Uh, what are they doing with it currently? So right now it is currently rented to a rancher. He's got some cattle on there that are just kind of grazing. So yeah. it could be used for that as well. Yeah, perfect. A beautiful location, really nice area of the state down. This is an opportunity. They're, yeah. they're, they're never, uh, I mean, this is one of the things that we uh, that we lack right now is a lot of land and this is an opportunity to own it, right? Yeah, and the nice part about this land too is it's ro located right off of a road called Dog Valley Road. Um, it is a dirt gravel road, but it's literally right off of it. The gate to lead to it is right there. So you're not out trekking out there looking for this land. It's there and it's fully fenced in, as you can see. You'll wanna hurry quick on this one because it's gonna move fast. So you're buying a new home. What if something breaks in the first year? Be sure to put an Elevate Home Warranty on your home. It covers furnaces, ACs, water heaters, plumbing, electrical, all the parts and components inside your home. We also do a yearly tune-up for your furnaces and ACs. We are one of the only companies out there that has no limits on our ACs and furnaces. Next time you buy a home, be sure to get an Elevate Home Warranty. So Billy, we're seeing changes in the lending market because we don't have as many entry level home buyers, but it's now gone under like the, the jumbo loans, right? Yeah, Jay, I mean, if you obviously be in the broker, you see all the contracts come through, not much coming through at 300K anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem was when you went to Jumbo, there was always a big jump in price. They, they, the rate was higher. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a massive change. I mean, your standard conventional loan at 2875, Jumbo was up at four and a quarter, you yeah. know? And, and that's gotten a lot more competitive. And I think the investors have kind of realized so this is where now. the market's shifting. Oh, massively better. Yeah, it's actually very comparable to your standard conventional rate. That's a big deal because it used to be a big deal. If you went into the, you bought an expensive house, you paid for it, but now it's kind of getting online. And so things are shifting. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at even where the government went over the last year with the minimum uh, conforming limit up to 548, I mean, even just a couple of years ago, it was, you know, 375. So I think we're seeing a lot of the investors pick up the slack and understand that the market's changed and that housing prices are going to continue to go up. Yeah, and that, that's good, bad. Yeah. Okay, but let's talk about a lot of times these uh, 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 
a lender would have to outsource those uh, loans to somebody else to try and get them done though. But that's not the case with Supreme, right? No, yeah, at Supreme, we actually have six different uh, programs within the Jumbo. They're all underwritten in-house, so none of them are a brokered program. And that's where you used to see Jumbo loans, hey, can I get a 45-day contract? Can I get a 60-day contract, right? They just took more time because they had to send it out to get underwriting your back and forth. With Supreme, all six of our different Jumbo programs are done, they're delegated, so they're done in-house. We don't broker anything. And we have something for everybody. So we have six, uh, 680 FICO all the way up to the 800 guys, um, just because you know we wanted to be able to offer something for our consumers to actually buy these properties since prices continue to go up. So Elise, where are we headed to for this beautiful home? We're headed to Eagle Mountain. Yes, yeah, so exciting. Okay, so take a look at this beautiful home. Big three car garage, very majestic. I love it, yes. It's been one of my favorite listings for sure. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, you can tell it's got that nice little porch on the front. It's got some real classic styling and the landscape is all in there and, and everything. Just absolutely beautiful. And it looks like the inside, it's, I mean, it's like, it looks like it's brand new. Yeah, no, like first of all, that corner, that lot size is perfect because it's like right in the corner. So it's like very unique for like that whole neighborhood. Yeah. And my clients actually are obsessed with like that neighborhood being super quiet, super family oriented. So super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And go and you can look at the inside. It's just yes, beautiful. Yes. Very majestic. Yeah. I mean, these colors, I mean, it looks like something a builder just built. How old is the home now? It's from 2017. So it's almost brand new. Yeah. And it got all the upgrades that you can imagine, like right from the get-go. <laughs> yeah. You can tell. I mean, look at the kitchen. It's just, I mean, it's darling. I mean, yeah. you can see why somebody would want to buy this. Yeah. You've got the fireplace right there, you know, like the amazing floors. And then I think the contrast with the kitchen, like you're saying, you know, the island, the lighting. Um, I like that the kitchen cabinets, they're gray and white, which is like a very special detail that you don't get to see in all the homes. Yeah, so very nice. And so heading into, as we're looking out, it looks like it's got a home theater down in the basement. Very, very nice, right? Yes, so excited about that one. The screen and the projector, it's actually staying with the house. Very, yeah. very nice. And going upstairs, looks like it's got lots of uh, bedrooms. Yeah, so it features six bedrooms, 3.5 baths, and it's around 3,400 uh, square feet. Yeah, very nice. And this area uh, is developing on a ton because where the uh, silicone slopes went in right now, this is just a hop and skip right there. And so this area used to be kind of, a, I almost bought a house out here back in the day and boy, it is really, uh, it is really developed out. There's mm -hmm. a ton of development going on. And to have a beautiful house like this is so decked out. I mean, beautiful. And now heading into the backyard here, take a look at this. They've got their own sports court. <laughs> yes, can you believe it? It's like, why would you go anywhere else? You've got like the whole party in your backyard. Yeah, and a huge yard too. I mean, it's really expansive back there. I can see why they put that in there. And so you have this beautiful area. I mean, this is a very special home out there in a developing area. Very, very nice. Right, dream home right there. Yeah. All right, Quincy, where are we headed to for this one? Okay, for this one, we are gonna head right off of Foothill Boulevard. It is one of the most amazing locations. You are absolutely gonna love this. This is gonna be a dream for someone. Okay, Quincy, you're right. So location is everything in real estate and this area right up on the East Bench is super desirable. Absolutely, you are right at the epicenter of all the fun in this area. You have the zoo so close by, you're right next to all the university and, and right near downtown, and just to zip up the canyon to Park City and all the resorts up there. That's right, and for easy freeway access, and so everything. And take a look at this, we got a beautiful property that somebody has definitely loved and taken care of, because, I mean, you can see all those beautiful mature trees, right? Yes, absolutely, this is just stunning. You know, when you get up a little bit higher above this house, the views are phenomenal. Um, she has taken such great care and pride in this home it even has its own sunroom yeah little sunroom they covered that one car garage and a nice little sunroom as you can see but what i really like about this you're really close to foothill uh drive but you're far enough away that you don't hear any traffic or anything so you can zip right on the freeway get right up to the park city right yes absolutely everything is super close and having your own little oasis here right off of uh, foothill is, is just phenomenal it's such a good find especially at this price point yeah, it's, it's really nice. This is an area that always appreciates really well. And to be able to get into a home in this price range, it's a real opportunity. And obviously the landscaping is everything there. Somebody can go in and make the inside of this house their own. A, a good one, I like this a lot. So James, where are we headed to today? So this one, it's up Immigration Canyon. I'm excited for you to take a look. Awesome. 
So we are up Immigration Canyon today, and it's one of the first properties up uh, the canyon. I believe it's only 10 minutes away from downtown. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Well, about 10 minutes away from Foothill Boulevard. Okay. So you're right outside the city on this one. It's easy to get to, but once you pull up to the home, you immediately know that you're out of the city and I feel very relaxing area. Absolutely. Um, one of my favorite features about owning a home is it's kind of my area to decompress and get away from the craziness. I can't think of a better property than this to do that. Yeah, and, and I feel the exact same. The, the nice thing about this, as you can see, is the owner really tried to bring all the outdoor feel into the inside. This was his retreat. It was to get away, um, get outside of the city, have his relaxation, have the fresh air, get out of the inversion, and, and have it almost a mini vacation when he's at home. Oh, absolutely. And again, you're, you're 10 minutes away from the city, so there's plenty of things for you to do. I think the zoo's pretty close to if you've got little ones. So and then you can bike up the canyon, you can go hiking. It's, it's really, if you've got kind of that active lifestyle, this is the perfect property for you. Yeah, it is. And as you said, it's right above the zoo. One of the most famous, I'd say landmarks as far as breakfast here in Salt Lake is Roos Cafe, which is just minutes from Roos Cafe. So you're, you're at the spot where you're not driving all the way up the canyon, but you still have access to amenities. And then you still have all your hiking trails, biking trails. If you're a road cyclist uh, or an outdoor enthusiast, this, this place is the place for you. It just, it just screams character, which I absolutely love with, with all the word furnishings. This, uh, this area looks like a great rec room if you like to entertain and have friends over. Yeah, it is. It has the wet bar, the pool table, um, around the side of it where we can't see. There's actually a, a really neat custom bar made with stools. So you can easily, easily entertain a, a dozen people over here in the basement. And then in the summertime, you can definitely take them out back. There's a lot of room out back for them as well. Yeah, I've seen the backyard on this one and it is absolutely stunning. Yeah. and. When it, as you'll see here, um, the backyard, it has a basketball court that you can get to. Um, it has uh, a pergola that's back there. And then it even has a stream, which we'll see here in just a minute, where in the summertime when that's going, it starts flowing under the bridge. So when you're back here, you can either sit under that big pine tree on the deck. Um, you have many different seating options, but you can hear the water running. And there's always just a little bit of a breeze back there. So even in the middle of the summer, you stay nice and cool. Yeah, that just that just looks like heaven on earth. This property is absolutely fantastic. I don't see it lasting on the market for very long. No, I agree. It's in the perfect area. Um, very nice, like you said, very relaxing. And whoever picks this one up is going to be lucky. So Mary, we're super excited to have you. You're gonna be one of the new personalities of the show. Now you've been doing real estate for a while now, right? I have, yeah. I've been a part of the real estate world for about six years now. Yeah, and so you originally grew up uh, in Northern Utah, right? I did, yeah. I grew up in Davis County. I moved to Weber County to go to college, and then I moved to Utah County, and that's where I'm at now. So I've been all around the Wasatch Front, and I know a ton about everywhere. Yeah, and that's great. And, and with the, now the stuff that you've been doing real estate, I know you've done a lot of different transactions, a lot of different styles of real estate, but what's the specialty? What do you really like? What's your, what do you really like to work on? I really love it all, but buyers and sellers are probably my favorite. Uh -huh. um, just the way buyers are so gracious and happy when you help them get into that first home and then sellers, when you sell that, they're just so excited and grateful as well. So yeah. I just love all of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we're super excited uh, and we're looking for, forward to a big future. Awesome, thanks. Forever homes for everyone. Everyone needs a home, and at Real Estate Essentials, anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate Team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate Team. Are you thinking about selling your home and want the most exposure possible? It doesn't cost anything to have your home featured on Real Estate Essentials. Simply go to our website and choose the real estate personality you want to feature your home.
Okay, for your market update this week, we're seeing a lot of houses now come on the market, which we naturally do this time of year. There's still a ton of demand in the marketplace for buyers that are buying houses, but there are now getting a lot more houses, which is good. That means it's starting to balance out just a little bit. Good time if you're looking to buy a house. Uh, there is, of course, a lot more demand on the entry level homes versus the multi million dollar homes. And so the, the interest level varies depending on the price range. Another thing we have going on Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon on ABC is expanding, and we're looking for a couple personalities for the show. And so if you're interested and involved in the program, just reach out to the producers. Okay, Lise, where are we headed to on this one? My favorite place, St. George, Utah. And even better, we are going to be looking at the gated community of Stonecliff. Okay, take a look at this. Nothing better than these houses down in St. George, these beautiful landscapes. And the houses kind of match the way the whole feel is down there. Absolutely. This home was built specifically for the view. And so you have the rounded windows, and it is beautiful. You have a water feature as you come in, the beautiful stained glass door. It's mahogany, as is all the wood inside this palatial home. Yeah, you can tell somebody has really made a masterpiece out of this property. This is where you get into like home enthusiasts, somebody who really wants to love their property. Look at the ceilings and beautiful. The architecture in this home is incredible because usually you have a plain ceiling, but the round ceilings reflect the round windows. And so everything has an aesthetic and a flow that is incredible. And it's really a master craft home. Yeah, look at that view. You can see that view as you go out and they carried that theme, which is that nice wood into the kitchen and the kind of the round features again, right? Exactly. And if you'll notice the beautiful coloring of the floor and the countertops, that is this rare onyx that is so beautiful, but wonderful to cook on. It's, it's long lasting and elegant. Yeah, beautiful. And again, those views are to die for. Is it wrapped through in, the, in a wrapped window like that that matches the style of the house? Absolutely. Exceptional. And, and is, that a, is that an elevator I saw? It is. And so even though it's two levels, you've got the elevator so you can transport people or entertaining. You can put a roll cart on there and just roll it right out. Or you can spend time in your game room with the billiards. It's got two and a half fireplaces in this home. And that's a wet bar as well. So it's a functioning bar. You can also go into your movie theater, which is updated and comfortable. It has plenty of guest rooms. And look at the view that you have. It's like a tropical paradise in your own home. Yeah, we got a little taste of just looking out there. They got those wrap windows again, but take a look at this, your own oasis right out there in the, in the desert. So many times you see people that from St. George and it's like, hey, are you in, in Hawaii or some exotic place? You are, the exotic place is your backyard. Yeah, take a look at that. I mean, this could be your view, looking out the back, looking over the valley, St. George, beautiful. And this is a special little property. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Yes, we're right here at the base of Park City at the Lodge at Park City's Resort Center. This is one of the greatest spots up there, right by the ice rink and right at the ba base of the uh, Park City Resort. Yeah, you can see. Skiing. This is, this is where everything is. It's all during the summer. This is where they all, the, all the events and stuff. And then during the winter, you walk right out and ski. Oh yeah, and it's right there with all the restaurants, the bars, the ski rental places. You've got it all right there. And look at this. It looks like it's been completely remodeled. It's beautiful. Yeah, it was remodeled in 2015. Two bedrooms, two baths, 1,268 square feet. Nice kitchen there. Uh, the great room area actually was expanded and uh, 200 square feet larger than any other unit, two bedroom units in the facility. Yeah, but what we're really talking about is the location. Location is dynamite on this one. I mean, you're right there. This is both the summer and winter location. It'd be so fun to have a second property and just go out and hang out up there. Oh yeah, you got snowboarding and skiing in the winter and mountain biking, hiking in the summer, along with all the other events that 
take place in Park City. They've got all those concerts that are around there. They've got the, the slide that you go down and all the different events. This is, this is really nice. I love it. Yeah, for two bedroom condo, it's great. Um, also, there's a Murphy bed in the uh, great room. Uh, you can see it there right there on the right. And this unit actually sleeps nine, up to nine people. So it's great for a rental property as well. Wow, that's great. And those are, of course, really popular all year round because Park City is now a year round destination. So if that if somebody wanted more information, they want to reach out to you, how would they contact you? Yeah, just uh, call me at 435-640-5133 or our website, thelossonrealestateteam.com.